to episode five of My Building Black Pearl, golden version, 2021 by ZHL. And today I'm gonna to concentrate pretty much on just the electrical part of the ship itself. Because when you look in the manual, there's not a lot of information on the electrical portion of the ship. Matter of fact, when you get up to page five, which is where you're starting to put the side rails on, it does say when you are at this step, if you need to install lights in the captain's room, it's a good time to consider that and to begin drilling holes, possibly in the back, in rib 17, or other ribs. So really what they're telling you there is you need to consider doing the electrical wiring completely on your own, which is fine with me. I, I, uh, Kind of understood that going in and what they actually provide is some bare copper wire let's take a second and talk about wire this is what came with it again it's uh, solid copper that's nice if you're going to do series that will work for this you have to be careful because you could cross wires and short something out and mess it up and they won't work so this is a 30 AWG, I would just say 30 gauge, but it's AWG and everything that I order. This is a very, very small wire. It gives you a lot of room, but it also is uh, susceptible to breakage, I suppose. And this was all I had left. So I did use a little bit of it, uh, but then when I ordered, I wasn't paying close enough attention. And what I ordered instead is 26 gauge or 26 AWG. So this is what I'm actually using for the bulk of the wiring on the ship. This is the wiring just for the captain's quarters and that's just six lights which equals 12 sets of wires. Another thing to decide is how are you going to power the ship for lighting and it did come with this. This holds those little button batteries. Problem with that or even a nine volt battery. They don't last all that long if you're gonna light the ship. And I want mine to be able to be lit pretty much every evening. And I'll probably put it on a timer. So I'm going with a nine volt uh, transformer. Well, here are the lanterns for the back of the ship. I think uh, at one point I uh, had mentioned there were three. Actually, they give you a spare. Uh, at least the spare base, no spare top. These all have to be painted, like I documented earlier. And I've made a decision. These are the pieces that the ship mounts on. There's three very small pieces that you glue together. And I have some mahogany, and I decided I'm gonna make the base. I've already done that. You can see I've kind of uh, bowled the inside of that out, and I've made it so this will sit on top of the ship. So that's what I'm shooting for. I think the mahogany has a nice natural color to it. So I'm going to do that. I had mentioned, I believe, that I had to drill holes. Is this, these, these were based on, oh, I'm not sure, because it just had one hole in the bottom and you cannot even do series that way. So I drilled, you can see now there's three holes, the two outside ones, so that these pins would fit right through. So there's one of the lamps inside, and these are the lamps that I chose. These are those flickering LEDs, so it'll look like a, a more of a flame inside. Anxious to show you that. Here's your typical wiring diagram if you're doing it by series. You can see you're going to go from the uh, plus side of your battery through a resistor into your first LED light, out into your second, out into your third, and out. If you have a failure in any of the lights or the resistor, the system will stop working. I've decided to wire mine in a parallel format. This way, if a light goes out, the others will keep working. From here, you go to the plus side, through a resistor, through your first light, and then back to your power source on the negative side. So you're running each one separately in a parallel diagram. The problem with the parallel diagram is you have a lot more wires. I started the electrical wiring back on these three lanterns. You can see I have three sets of wires. 
I drilled down as far as I could, then it popped out, then I just created a groove, and then I'll plank over this. So that'll be for the three lanterns in the back. One thing I wished I would have done is pre-drilled a lot of holes in what I call the bones of the ship. I was able to drill it because I have some real long drill bits and then some I did at angles, but there's no reason not to do that even before you install them because they're not shown at all. That being said, here's where you can see the three lanterns are coming down. They'll be hidden under there. And then the LED lights that I'm using require a resistor. Now the resistors came with the, the lights and each light has to have a resistor. Notice that one stem off the lamp is longer. That's the positive side. Doesn't really matter which side you put this on, I've been told, but I'm going to put them all on the positive side. Also, my positive side will be the black wire or I decided to use some from the kit itself and I use that on the positive side, but I have to make sure, I make sure they don't touch each other. So that's a little bit of a mess. So I stopped using it. You can see I put some uh, like clear caulk in there so that they don't touch. What I have here is where you can see down there is one resistor that's going to a top lamp. And then the other two I hooked in up here. So I've got a black wire going in and two resistors. You can't see one of them. There it is, right there. So I've separated the wires with some black electrical tape so they don't touch. That's the three resistors for the back lanterns. These are the three negative lines coming from all those three lamps on the back of the ship. They hook together and uh, come into just one negative and this will go to my power source. You may recall I put two lamps uh, behind the doors and the windows at the entrance to the captain's cabin. That's what's coming out of here. You can see I've put the resistor on the black line. Now they cross over. So this grouping of wires, one is the one that branches off and goes to the lamp on this side. The others are just taking power to all the other sources. So each one of these I did solder. I twisted and soldered and some of them I've capped. Some I'll separate from each other. I may dip them in a uh, like a clear silicone dip just to seal it off. And the final segment which is going to add a lot more wires is the captain's quarters itself. And I ended up putting six in. I tried to put them so that if you're straight onto the ship they are where these uh, dividers for the windows are. So I wanted them kind of subtle, but I don't think they're going to be subtle. But I'm hoping from outside the windows, uh, they'll be subtle. You can see I have a lot of wires. I left them extra long because each black wire will have to have a resistor. And then I have to have room to be able to string them through and hook them to the main power source. So this will, in time... Go back here, and once I know where it goes, I'll be able to drill the holes for these wires to pass through in the side of the ship. I'll tell you how I made these joints so that they wouldn't touch. How I did this was I, I would take the wire, strip a piece probably half inch long, and I'm going to twist this to the right to get all those strands nice and tight so there's no loose ones. Then I took an old light lamp and I fold this over so it's across the probe or stem and then twisted it several times and that gives me a nice tight wire base and then this can slip off, take it over to the one that's already on the ship and stuck through, and slide that back on. 
Now, I'll be honest with you, it's a little tricky to do, but once done, it holds really nice. Slide it all the way to the base, and then soldered right there. And I kind of faced the wires away from each other so these stems wouldn't touch. So that's pretty much it for episode five. I'm not going to put any of the lights on the back, nor am I going to install this until the planking is well underway. The lights I'm going to save as late as I can because you run the risk of snagging them and breaking them off. Uh, they're going to be pretty fragile. So I'm up to about page six on my uh, instruction manual or book of maps as I call it in uh, other venues. And it looks like I'm going to be getting into doing some planking. So I may need some help from a couple of pirates that I'm familiar with that know a lot more about ships than I do. So maybe I can get some advice from them. So that's it for episode five. And uh, I hope you'll stick around for episode six and the additional videos that come in the future. If you've not subscribed, consider doing that. That way you'll at least be able to find the videos when I post a new one. And it's, it's a big help to me. Every, everyone that posts videos on YouTube appreciates their subscribers. So as always, thanks for watching. This is Boiler Dam One, where my motto is, I know a little bit about everything and a whole lot about nothing.